Hello Pre-Calculus students, this is Mr. McAllen, and today we're going to talk about our first unit, or first part of Unit 4, which has to do with trigonometric functions. Trigonometric functions deals with ratios of triangles and depending on the angles that um, certain sides of triangles have. So as a result, the first thing we're going to do is we need to talk about or establish um, how we measure angles and how we convert degrees and radians and degree minute seconds and all these different types of units. We have to make sure that we understand um, how we basically convert all these. So in our first objective, we're going to work on converting an angle measures an angle measured in degree minute seconds to decimal degrees. And um, on your calculators, you would see like DMS and you would see DD, which stands for degree minute seconds or decimal degrees. Um, we're going to learn how to do this uh, the um, uh, the non-calculator way, and then we're going to verify our answer with the calculator. And then we're going to learn how to convert from decimal degrees back to degree minute seconds, uh, the non-calculator way, and then we're going to verify it with the calculator. And obviously you're going to think that why can't we just use the calculator and never do it the old-fashioned way? Um, it, well, this is honors pre-calculus, and as a result, we've got to learn how things work and how things um, behind the scenes, what's going on with the conversions. Um, if you did well with chemistry and unit conversions for chemistry, this should be a breeze. So anyway, here we go. We're going to first convert uh, 30 degrees. The little circle represents degrees. The one tick represents minutes. And two ticks represents seconds. So we have to think of this in terms of like uh, the hands of a clock. For instance, um, 30 degrees, 45 minutes, and 30 seconds. Um, well, the 30 degree part is just going to be 30 point, and then the rest is going to be the decimal portion. So we're going to get the decimal portion from two basic areas. We're going to get it from the minute portion. So if you remember, 45 minutes. Okay, and if you can think of it in terms of a clock, how many minutes are in an hour? Well, there's 60 minutes in an hour, and there are 60 minutes in one degree. So we're going to multiply, we're going to say one degree has 60 minutes. And as a result of this multiplication, we get our units to cancel, and we're going to have 45 over 60 um, degrees. So this will this will equate to 0 0.75 degrees. Now we're not quite done yet because we still have to worry about the seconds portion. So the seconds portion is done. So you take 30 seconds, and you have to think how many seconds are in one hour. That would be the same amount of seconds as what's in one degree. See, when degree minute seconds came about, um, because it's a rotational unit of measurement and clocks were done with uh, hours, minutes, seconds, they figured let's just use the same sort of um, setup. And that way, when people are converting, we'll have something that they could kind of remember and know how to do the conversion. So for 30 seconds, that works out where you have for uh, there are how many seconds are in one hour or in one degree? Um, one degree has 3,600 seconds. So you can see from the dimensional analysis that the seconds will cancel, and I'll be left with 30 over 3,600. Now I need to use my calculator to do that division. Um, a zero will cancel, and then it'll, basically this will reduce to one over 120. But that still doesn't really help me out with what that actual decimal is. And I think I'm going to just go to my calculator. 1 divided by 120. And that tells me 0 0.0083. So I've got 0 0.0083 degrees. And that's the degree amount coming from the minutes, uh, from the seconds portion. So what I do is I add this to this. And that will give me my decimal of point. I'm sorry, I have the point there already. 0.7583 degrees. <clears throat> now, how do we convert back from degree minute, I mean from decimal degrees to degree minute seconds? Well, what we do is we take the decimal portion, 0.7583, and that's the number of degrees. So we first want to find out how many um how many uh, minutes are in that decimal. So we multiply this by, um, we'll say, 60 minutes are in one degree. So then we get that answer. So we'll use a calculator. So we'll do like 0 0.758333 and multiply that by 60. And that will be our first conversion. And that will tell us that we have, now look at this, this is going to equal 
um, 45.4998. So the number of minutes, I'll just put the calculator away, the number of whole minutes is 45. And I hope you notice that this is, we're kind of converting back to what we just had. This is just to show you that, you know, it's actually working. So um, we know that we have 45 whole minutes. So here I have 30.75833 is equal to 30 degrees and now I have another space for my minutes 45 minutes that's in that part and now this decimal 0.4998 is going to fill out my seconds portion so let's see what that would be so I'm going to take my 0.4998 I'm going to multiply that now remember this was 0.4998 minutes times how many seconds are in one minute there are 60 seconds in one minute so when we multiply that the minutes cancel and you're left with seconds and this is going to equal 30 um, seconds so then I'll just put 30 here and now I've converted it and hopefully you see that um, this is basically what we started with in the original um, problem that we had when we were converting from degree, minute, seconds, decimal, degrees. We just started with the decimal portion and worked our way back just to show that we get the same thing. I hope this video has helped you understand how to convert from degree, minute, seconds to decimal degrees the long way. Now, let me show you how we do this with the calculator. And this is what's going to make you never want to do it by hand, but always use a calculator. But um, let me just show you. If you have 30 degrees, 45 minutes, and 30 seconds. If you just put that into your calculator and know where the minute, degree, and seconds button is, you can do the conversion with um, relatively easy. So we'll put the calculator up, and if I'll clear the screen, and if you look at where I'm pressing, I'm putting 30 in, and now I'm going to go to right above the apps button. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm circling around the apps button. There's the angle key, so I'm going to hit the shift key and apps to get to the angle menu. There in the first choice for the angle is degree. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to put in 45 and I'm going to hit the shift key again and go back to angle and choose the second option which was the second uh, or the minute uh, one, the minute, the single tick for the minute. And now I'm going to put in 30 again but I've got to find the like you know the double quotations and that is in a silly place on this calculator it should be in this menu under degrees and minutes and all that but it's above the plus sign if you look above your plus sign on the calculator and hit the shift shift key and the um, well that's not it I want to hit the alpha key sorry the alpha key and the plus sign Try one more time, alpha key and the plus sign. Now let me quit out of this menu. So I'll go back to the menu I was just at. Okay, so I have to go all the way back to um, to where I would put in the minute symbol. So now I'm going to hit the alpha key and the plus sign. And that puts up the two ticks. And once you put it in this format and you hit enter, the calculator converts it automatically to <clears throat> decimal degrees. Now, going backwards is much, much easier. You go to the angle symbol. You go to hit shift and then apps. And if you look at the fourth choice, it has the arrow showing going back to degree minute second. So I'm going to go down to choice four and hit enter and now it says I'm going to take my angle or my answer that was in decimal degrees and I'm going to convert it back to degree minute seconds and I hit enter and there you go it puts it right back into degree minute second form so it's a good way to verify what we did but you should also know that you are going to have to convert these by hand uh, without um, using the calculator and at least show what you need to do to make that conversion hope this video helps and look forward to hearing your comments and seeing you in class take care